the game can see the boxing boys. Aaron Cantu, the boxing voice here with Richard Schaefer. Richard, can you briefly break down this card? You got Mikey Garcia, Robert Easter, and we got heavyweight contender Luis Ortiz on this card. It's top to bottom a great card. Uh, I think it's sort of like a record. We have 15 fights on the card. We see some of the best young prospects uh, coming out of the Robert Garcia gym. Uh, we see the most talked about US Olympian from Rio, uh, Carlos Balderas uh, on the card. We see uh, the man who carries Texas now, uh, Mario Barrios, 21 and 0, undefeated uh, here uh, on the card as part of the televised portion. With King Kong Ortiz, we're gonna see must-see heavyweight TV. A guy who's just coming off uh, a tremendous fight in what I think is so far the front runner for fight of the year. Uh, and then of course you have uh, the fight between two undefeated world champions, uh, two guys, uh, young guys in the prime of their career, uh, two styles which totally mesh and totally will make for another fight of the year candidate. So with, with Garcia and Easter for the unified uh, world championship. So uh, really a little bit of everything. Uh, on Saturday night here in Los Angeles, LA will be the fight capital of the world. Definitely, Richard, and this unification fight between Easter and Garcia is a huge fight. Do you believe that it's setting the stage for a potential matchup with Lomachenko and an undisputed lightweight contender? That could definitely be the case. Uh, you know, uh, obviously Lomachenko is going to come back, I hear, sometime at the end of the year, and so we'll just have to see... Um, when uh, when such a fight can take place. But uh, there's so many great fights out there which can be made. And the thing is with Mikey Garcia or with Robert Easter, you have two fighters who don't mind who they fight, who are open to fight anyone, and that's refreshing. Definitely, Richard. Do you believe, in your own opinion, is this a true 50-50 fight, this lightweight unification? I really believe it is. And uh, I know that Mikey Garcia has never tested his skills against somebody with such uh, physical attributes like Robert East or six inch uh, reach and height advantage. Uh, it, uh, it's a totally different set of, uh, of problems that poses for Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia, in my opinion, pound for pound, the best fighter in the world today. But, you know, going against opponents like that, undefeated opponents, uh, is as dangerous as it gets. It's playing with fire. But that is what great champions do. And that is what a great champion like Robert Easter does as well. He's been waiting and asking for that fight, for that particular fight. Because you cannot really judge the way he looked or what he did in his last fight. Because you sort of like fight to your opposition. Here he knows he's fighting pound for pound the best fighter. And I know, and you can follow Robert on his social media, how focused he is. He has one thing and one thing only in mind. And that is Mikey Garcia and win on Saturday night. And it's going to be a hell of a fight. Uh, it is the definition of a 50-50 fight. Undefeated world champions at their in their prime both young going at it it doesn't get better than that oh shit i can't wait <laughs> let's go all right richard let's talk about this heavyweight fight luis ortiz if ortiz is able to get a victory on saturday where does that put him in a possible you know title shot once again oh i think he's right there i think he is right there uh, this is an important fight for him. Uh, you know, he fought a great fight against Deontay Wilder. It was a very close fight. Uh, there was a, a moment where I saw that the fight was over and that he beat Wilder. But Wilder really showed the heart, heart of a champion and just showed all of us what he is all about and sort of like took it out of Ortiz. Uh, and, uh, but with the win on Saturday night, uh, he's right back in the, in the middle of the mix and ready for another world title fight. And who wouldn't want to see uh, King Kong Ortiz in another world title fight? I mean, he is, he is as I said before, he's must-see TV. Always exciting. Big puncher and uh, just, you know, must-see TV. Richard, you've been very outspoken about the negotiations between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. Set that aside for now. What do you think about the Anthony Joshua Alexander Povetkin title fight in September? I think it's a great fight. Uh, and, you know, you have to give Anthony Joshua credit um, for, for taking on a difficult challenge like that. 
uh, and so I, I, you know, I hand it to Anthony Joshua for doing that. Uh, as a fight fan, of course, uh, and I'm speaking on behalf of all fight fans, the fight we really wanted to see is the fight between the two best heavyweights. And the longer you wait, you know, uh, you just don't know what happens. It's boxing. One or both might lose. Who knows? Uh, and so you make, I'm a firm believer in making the fights when they're there to be made. Definitely, Richard, now staying in the heavyweight division, I've been looking at social media and we've noticed that Joe Joyce went over to Abel Sanchez for possible uh, link up in uh, you know, his trainer there. What do you think about that situation? Do you think Abel Sanchez is a good option for Joe Joyce to go ahead and go to? Well, uh, I'm very fortunate at Ringstar that I was able to sign the three best heavyweights coming out of the Rio Olympics. The Olympic gold medalist, Tony Oka from France, the Olympic silver medalist, Joe Joyce from England and the biggest puncher in the division who in fact won the knockout of the Olympics, the biggest knockout of the Olympic tournament, Efe Shakbar from Nigeria, uh, who is training now with Ronnie Shields in Houston. Uh, Tony Yoka uh, is training with Virtual Hunter in uh, up in Oakland and then you have now uh, Joe Choice uh, coming to the US as well and starting to train with Abel Sanchez. I think it's, it's a great choice uh, and um, you know these guys why do those why do those guys do that? The reason is there are too many distractions uh, in their home countries and they want to really be able to focus on training. That's how dedicated these guys are and for Joe Choice to come from England from London uh, where he's from, to go up to Big Bear and train up there in a very tough gym with Abel Sanchez. You know, Abel Sanchez doesn't accept any bullshit. And uh, I think this is great. And it shows how dedicated and committed Joe Choice is. As a matter of fact, from all the young fighters, I believe that Joe Choice today is ready, willing and able to take on anyone. As a matter of fact, he called out Baby Miller. Uh, he said that he's going to be able, uh, able uh, Joe is going to come for the fight on Saturday night. And he tells me he wants to call out, if he wins, Luis Ortiz. And by the way, he's not kidding. He's serious. So Joe Joyce is a force to be reckoned with, with within the heavyweight division. And I think with Abel Sanchez in his corner, he has a great trainer who uh, will lead him to the promised land. Cool, man. Now, staying with some of the ring star stable, man, somebody who hasn't really gotten much attention because he's still kind of new into the boxing game is a guy I love to watch. He's got a great style, Michael Venom Page, man, MVP. Talk about him as a fighter. Is, does his style translate to the championship level? Well, he is a great uh, MMA fighter. Uh, he fights under the Bellator branch, uh, brand and uh, he's sort of like trying to juggle both uh, careers. I know that he's going to be fe one of the featured fighters on the new Zone deal the Bellator did. Um, and so he's going to be on there and uh, we'll have to see, you know, where he where he eventually will end up at he's a great talent he's very outspoken he's sort of like the mayweather of of the uk very 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 charismatic good looking guy and man can he fight what do you think about when he's in the ring and he does that drunk uh the drunk master his style is crazy well that's just like he's an entertainer you know he's an entertainer uh and i love to promote entertainers you know i love to go get, promote guys who are charismatic and you know to entertain, but then can back it up as well. I mean, he's the kind of guy who talks to talk and walks to walk.